Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out Monday, November 5th, 2018 from CNN. More than 200 cases of polio-like illness under investigation, 80 confirmed. So it is still happening all over the country, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. And these are some of the mothers that are impacted um, with children that have the polio-like AFM disease that's spreading all over the country. There have been 80 confirmed cases of the polio-like illness known as AFM in 25 states this year. As of Friday, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention said Monday. In addition, there are 219 cases under investigation. This is eight more confirmed cases than the agency reported last week and 20 additional patients under investigation. The CDC noted an increase in reports of patients under investigation who began experiencing symptoms in August, September, and October. It has not identified the 25 states with confirmed illnesses, nor has it said how many states are reporting cases under investigation. And let me tell you something, all states are not required to report to the CDC. So like I said, whatever number they're giving you, you could probably triple the number of how many cases there are. AFM or acute flaccid mellitus is a rare illness that affects the nervous system, especially the gray matter in the spinal cord and can cause muscle weakness and sudden onset of paralysis. Last month, the CDC said that 90% of patients since 2014 have been children under the age of four, although adults can also develop AFM. Other symptoms include drooping of the face or eyelids, difficult eye movement, trouble swallowing or slurred speech, Research is underway to determine the cause of AFM, although there is a focus on introviruses, which can cause respiratory illness and West Nile virus and other viruses in the family. According to the CDC, there have been 404 confirmed cases in the United States since August, 2014. The number of cases may be higher but the condition is not subject to mandatory reporting. So again, that's how you know the number is way higher than what they're telling you. So if 25 states are reporting to the CDC, that means there are more cases in the other 25 that's not being reported at all, not to mention all of the ones that are being misdiagnosed. So not all cases are reported to state health departments and therefore may not be counted by the CDC. And why, I wanna know why they are not required to report something this serious. Why are they allowed to just stay silent as this thing is happening in states that are not reporting? Even with an increase in cases since 2014, AFM remains a very rare condition. Less than one in a million people in the United States get AFM each year, says the CDC. AFM peaks every other year seasonally in late summer and fall, but experts have yet to identify a single factor geographically or otherwise to explain the cause. Also unknown why some patients recover and others have prolonged effects. So there you go. It continues to grow across the country, ladies and gentlemen, and they still don't know why. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.